All right, so uh, let me go over these comments real quickly. Like, and there's one comment I wanted to address. Um, first of all, I appreciate these. Uh, the earth is like a footstool, flat corners. Okay. Um, I appreciate that. That's. I just want to kind of focus on one here, right after this one. Who, and besides, who wrote the song? Um, the angels which, which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation star fall from he from the from heaven onto the earth right and have you entertained angels unaware yeah they can oh there's no question I mean you go back to Genesis we angels can appear to be human but they don't they don't have genital they don't have genitals okay um, I think people are forgetting that part watching too much HBO and Cinemax and imagining beings in outer space having gen you know genitals they don't all right uh, uh, you know what I, I don't know uh, you know I, I have changed a lot since before uh, you know 2012 but um, wait I gotta read this what what are you talking about here yes angels are spirits no question about it see I used to be a you uh, you know a ufologist oh my goodness I'm gonna have to go into this so and then I realized I'm not, you know there aren't UFO aliens I'm a fool for believing that there are not beings in outer space this whole narrative of beings in outer space falls in line with the idea of a heliocentric model and evolution evolution you're a super monkey there are beings in outer space and you live on a in a heliocentric model this is all connected and it's all a false reality so what's the problem here it took me a while to figure it out there's no question about it but I let me just read this. I got to be fair about this. How God can allow them to have a human body? Uh, they they can appear to be humans, but um, I don't know what happened with. Okay, so I'm just not. I there's nothing in the Bible that says angels have sex. They're not beings. There's nothing in the Bible that says they're beings and have genitals and reproduce. So my, what I'm doing is I'm saying, hey, look fellas don't be afraid of beings coming down and having sex with you and your wife while you're sleeping you don't have to worry about that it's not happening it's never happened it's not gonna happen that's really all I'm saying you can have peace in the Lord Jesus Christ and know that um, things like that are not happening I don't know what happened with your thinking on the small b bible I, there's a there's a capital bible and a small b bible yeah you know, isaiah 14 12 um <laughs> oh good night you got that one wrong buddy so all right so he says 14 12 how are how you are fallen from heaven o day star this I just went into another direction. I gotta take a deep breath, relax. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. All right, so go to Second Peter verse uh, chapter one verse nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts Isaiah 14:12 how are how you are fallen from heaven o day star son of dawn that's not what Isaiah 14:12 says um, it doesn't say that at all so the opening statement you make is not correct as well as some of your other thoughts in this video. True or not true? Untrue. Okay, so 
Um, if I could, let me make this simple. Day star. Now there should be, if I do that, it should just weed out all the others. So that's the only time we see this phrase, day star. It's in Second Peter chapter 1. Now if we go to Isaiah 14, this is very important for a lot of reasons. One, this is a, a proverb against the king of Babylon. It's important to understand the context of what's being said here. All right, And then we go to verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? So you're, what you're doing here, my friend, is quoting a very corrupt Bible version, a perversion, O day star. So if we go, uh, there might be a couple of translations. By the way, the King James Version. Bible is not a version, it's not a translation, it is the Word of God. Now let's go this way. So we got the ESV and we got uh, the X Bible, I'm not sure what that is, ISV, International Standard Version. So and then we got the not right something or another's RSVs, OJBs. Alright, so these guys are making a lot of money. So now let me do something interesting here. All right, man, I'm going off on another. I didn't. I wanted to make a two-minute video, and now it's going to be 20 minutes. See, notice uh, the word Lucifer here. All right, so some versions got it, and others don't. On oh, this one here, that's brilliant. The bright one of the dawn, day, star, Lucifer. Just throw in a bunch of words and Helio Ben Shajar, and, and oh, that sounds romantic all right so think about this now come on lucifer 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 how many results oh what wait one one time in the entire bible is the word lucifer and it's right there in isaiah 14:12 but when you quote it, there is no mention of Lucifer. If you take Lucifer out of 1412, you've completely removed Lucifer from the Bible, and then you change it into Daystar, excuse me, and that Daystar that, ri that arises in our heart, let's go back to that one, if it's possible. What was that other word that they sometimes use? Daystar. Uh, um, no, I'm thinking and scrolling at the same time. Daystar. Day dawn. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Alright, so knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost that's another um, affirmation or confirmation that the Word of God is not from man it's from God so that Bible that you hold on your hands it, it ought to be perfect because it's from God if it's not perfect, it's not from God. But we have the perfect Word of God in the English language. It's the King James Bible. Okay. So, the day star rise in your hearts. This is not Lucifer. All right. But what they're doing is taking uh, Isaiah 14, 12 and making Lucifer out to be Jesus. All right. So, that's what they're doing. So, if I could show you. We'll have to go back to it. Cause I, you know, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since I looked at this and talked about it. Um, the star of the morning. Is that the is that the phrase I'm looking for? Star of the morning, the bright morning star. All right, let's do it this way. Let's just do it this way here. The morning star 
the morning star. Where's this at? Can we find it? And I will give him the morning star. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Oh, buddy. That's talking about Jesus. That's talking about Jesus. Watch out, fellas. They've replaced Lucifer with Jesus. Well, you don't think there's something fishy going on here? Huh? Look at fellas, we're under attack. And what's the one thing that the devil would want you to be most deceived about? It's about the Lord Jesus Christ and the Word of God. And they're attacking us from every possible angle. And this ought to be evidence, clear as day. Clear as day evidence. They've removed Lucifer. And uh, replaced Lucifer with the, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, again, there's that's the only time in the entire Bible the word Lucifer is mentioned. And you think about how popular the word Lucifer is. People talk about it like it's all over the Bible. No, it's in one place in the Bible, and it's a proverb against the, the king of Babylon. I showed you that. Now, it, the, what, the reason why, in my very, very strong opinion, that this word Lucifer is so key and so important is because it's a clue to who the fourth beast of Daniel is. Proverb. Again, think about this. Proverb against the king of Babylon. All right? And this clue is the word Lucifer. Lucifer is a Latin word. And uh, there's only one language in the entire world that speaks Latin as its native tongue. Now remember this. Proverb against the king of Babylon. Now we read about the four beasts in the book of Daniel. Alright, if I could find it. Is it possible for me to find anything when I want to? Well, the, the point is there it is. It's it's all over Daniel. If you're familiar, it takes a half an hour to read Daniel. If you understand Daniel, then you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Daniel talks about the four beasts that will rise up, which are the four kings. Uh, they shall rise out of the earth. So this is the four beasts until the end of the world. And he names the first three beasts. And, of course, the first beast is Babylon. And so all the rest are in spirit of the first beast, which is the Babylonian Empire, right? And then he names the first three beasts, and the fourth beast we can can conclude is the Roman Empire. And then, of course, the the fourth beast is the beast of Revelation. All right, and then of course we read about um, Babylon has fallen, has fallen, and those types of verses. All right. The great Babylon came into remembrance. This is all in the spirit of the first beast. Even though Revelation is talking about the fourth beast, that they're all in the same lineage. Revelation 17, upon her forehead was a name written mystery, Babylon the Great. All right, And again, Babylon the Great is fallen. Is fallen. Babylon, that mighty city. The great city of Babylon. So, it's all going to come crashing down. The, the Babylon and the spiritual Babylon represents the the city of the or the kingdom of the fourth of the first beast or the fourth beast, however you want to look at it. It's all the, it's all in the same spirit. And so this uh, mention of Lucifer is an absolute clue, no question about it. We're given a name in. The lat it's a Latin word, right? And then, again, you know, you can Google this. There's only one country in the world that 
speaks Latin as its native tongue. That means the tongue that they are born in. All right. And when you figure out that clue, you figure out who the beast of Revelation is. It's very obvious. Once your eyes are opened, it's very obvious. It's un it's incredible. It really is. So, all right. So to make a 90 second video extremely long let's continue all right so who this is what really this is all i want i was so, I was so excited about this song I, I love that song i thought i'll look it up and then i, I realized it's not fleetwood mac because i thought it was fleetwood mac it's not fleetwood mac i'm crazy for even thinking that and I, I like fleetwood mac but it's not fleetwood mac so they never went to the moon either Right, so I was going to talk about that today too. How you know it's been over 50 years. What's going to happen in another 50 years? And I should I should make this an entire video. I, I really should. I probably will. Because what happens, what is happening now is related, in my opinion, to a murderer who you know a husband who lies to their wife. And they lie and they lie and they carry out the lie for as long as they possibly can until they're busted. They can't, they can't go on lying. And so they make a choice to murder their wife. Not because the wife did anything wrong, but because the wife found out that you, that you lied. Now this happens a lot um, in, in a lot of different situations as well. So what's happening here is the United States NASA program is lying. They're carrying out this lie for as long as they can. But they've been found out. So how much longer can they carry this lie? It's only a matter of time because look in another 50 years it's going to be a hundred years and people are going to say hey man it's been a hundred years since anybody went to the moon this is insanity let's go technology is through the roof I'm telling you they cannot continue this lie forever it ain't gonna work fellas and something bad's gonna happen something very bad's gonna happen and my hope is that the very bad thing that's gonna happen is that the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come down and destroy them all. All right? Because they've been living this life for too long. It's time to put an end to the NASA lies. All right. So, so you know what? I appreciate these. Again, I was going to make this a, a 90s. I'll have to go over these and uh, possibly either just uh, reply to them or make a separate video. I wanted to make a 90 second video saying, hey fellas, I found a song, man, it's great. So I was trying to listen to the lyrics and you know, uh, when, I, you know when I replayed the video I made yesterday or whatever, it was too distorted because I turned up the volume and everything because nobody could hear nothing, but now it's too loud on my side, so whatever. So I finally, finally, finally got it. And you know, all these, you know what? It used to be so easy to do a Google search. It used to be simple. You get what you want. You type it in, you get what you want. Now you can't get nothing. And then, of course, if you get something, you get this. I mean, everything is just so. Such a convoluted mess, man. It just. Nothing is easy anymore. They made all these changes and made it harder for people. It's insanity. Anyways. So if I go, if in case you don't know what I'm talking about, let's see if I can find it. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. This is a legend here. The NASA claim holding a jet react, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Left hand. Yep. But ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just sitting at my boy's 
house on the phone Underneath the MB right on my bones I'd do anything to get you alone Just for a while All right, so I, this is a great song, man. I, I don't, you know, it's probably one of the greatest songs, at, at least uh, uh, this uh, version of it. It's it's amazing. So I, I think this is great. I mean, obviously, these are young people, and, um, you know, I don't know about all these games that people want to play all the time. Oh, wait, Zelda. I know that game. Yeah, you should be an expert at Zelda. All right, so anyways, I just want to share that. You know, I was all excited about this song, but I appreciate these other comments, and, and especially the, the deal with Lucifer. Yeah, it's important. You know what? Uh, if you're wrong about it, you're not going to hell. Just relax, all right. If you're wrong about uh, that doctrine or you know the the bumpy earth stuff, if you're wrong about it, you're not going to hell. Just relax, all right. Um, but if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you're not born of the Spirit of God, you are going to hell, and you better panic. All right? you know, just full on panic. But once you are saved, you're sealed, secure forever. You don't have to worry about nothing. You're free. You're a free man. If the Son of Man shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Come on. 